Aw, look what I get to wake up to. Alright, so this is going to be another super quick video. One of the things I want to warn you uh, people when it comes to narcissists, uh, especially lately, the last, especially the last two, three years, but even more than that, but they are all over the dating sites. So you've got Hinge, you've got, uh, not Twitter, but what's the other one? I can't even think of it right now. But the point being is um, Tinder. It's all of them. It's, it's literally all of them. Uh, it is a, a hotbed. It's like the wasp nest of uh, narcissists. They are all over dating sites. So I personally, I do not recommend dating sites at all. Because uh, that's where they... God, how do I explain it? Alright, I'll give you two examples. So, my last narcissist was constantly on. He was on three different uh, apps. And when he wasn't at work, he was on those things out for hours. Talking to different women all the time. Uh, and, here's, and there's nothing wrong with talking to different women. But when it just goes on and on and on. And you're dating multiple women at the same time. It's just kind of like, eh. Especially when you don't have good intentions. So one of the things I noticed was the lying. Like, uh, this person would literally say anything to convince this girl to go out with him to, you know, he's, he's a good guy and, well, did the same thing to me <laughs> on a social friend business level. And so I guess all I'm saying is you really, really do need to stay off him. So after I had gotten away from my last narc, very first person uh, when I, I was on a, a, a dating app or dating site, I uh, was a narcissist. It was obvious as hell. And then the next one, the next one. And I was like, oh my God, they're all over those things. So I don't recommend them. I recommend that you meet people the old fashioned way, meet them in person, uh, meet them through friends and family and stuff like that. That is the safest way. And, I, and let me give you one more tip. Please don't let them isolate you. Their number one goal that they're going to try to do is they're going to try to isolate you away from your family and friends, whether get you to move out of town, move to another state or turn your friends and family against you, turn you against them. So here's what I suggest. If you meet someone, bring them around your friends and family. So there's a, there's a level of responsibility because narcissists don't like that. They don't want other people to know who they are. So they try to see you one-on-one, -on -one, only you and them, privately. I don't recommend that, especially in this day and age. Don't do it. Bring them to your church, bring them around your friends, bring them around your family. Make sure that they are well known within the community. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. God bless you guys. Stay safe out there.